The next biblical story to lose its scientific history as a result of new archaeological discoveries was the jewel in the crown of the long national memory. The United National Kingdom of David and Solomon was the glorious golden age in Jewish history. Excavations in Jerusalem in the 1970s, that is, after the city had been reunified forever by the Israeli government, undermined the fantasies about the glorious past. It was not possible to dig under the Haram al-Sharif, but explorations at all the other sites that were opened up around it failed to find any traces of an important 10th century kingdom, the prison time of David and Solomon. No vestige was ever found on monumental structures, walls or grand palaces, and the pottery found there was scanty and quite simple. At first, it was argued that the unbroken occupation of the city and the massive construction in the reign of Herod had destroyed the remains, but this reasoning fell flat when impressive traces were uncovered from earlier periods in Jerusalem's history. The technological development of the carbon-14 test confirmed that the colossal structures in the area dated not from Solomon's reign, but from the time of the northern kingdom of Israel. Indeed, no trace has been found of the existence of that legendary king, whose wealth is described in the Bible as almost matching that of the mighty imperial rulers of Babylonia and Persia. This is a quote from the book entitled The Invention of the Jewish People, page 120-121, to 121, written by Shlomo Sand, Ph.D.